All right, ladies and gentlemen, back to the bench. This is sort of a quick hit. Um, I'm going to talk about tape. Just finished sealed up the Rymulet Warbird. You can see um, glue, did my touch-up work, did some glue. Now I'm going to let this sort of uh, hold overnight. Uh, you could put some small clamps on them if you like. I had a couple of them. I got these small clamps. Sorry for moving my actually doing this handheld these are always good to use I like using blue tape but I like to be careful with the tape that I use why um, a lot of people say hey I use blue tape because this protects things well well not all blue tape is created equal and I have three rolls here these are the three types of paint of, of roll of tape that I like to use first one is the um, pinstriping tape this is a vinyl tape um, that's made for stretching and going around corners. Very expensive. They're about 18 bucks a roll. Well worth it when you have to when you have to make some twists and turns. Um, it's nice and stretchy and pliable. Now there's other types of tape to use. Putting that back and if you can see this blue and when I said blue is tape is not created equal. There's several types of blue. If you look inside, um, these are both 3Ms. The top one is orange, the bottom one is white. There's a big difference in these two tapes. Mainly, um, the glue is pretty much the same, but what you're going to see is the actual tape is different. Now, when I look closely on the tape, you can see the one that is orange, and now they started printing the outside at orange, it is smooth, and the other one is rough. And this is a big deal. Again, what I do is that the orange is used for fine edges where I don't want any paint to bleed around or move around. And then this one here is used for the uh, just covering large areas. You pretty much could use a regular um, white masking tape, but the blue has that, I'll call it a post-it type glue, that lasts several days longer. If I can get this to focus. But usually inside of it, this says uh, 14, uh, it says in here, 14 day removal. Do you see that? Getting really close. 14 day removal, medium adhesion. Again, that's just related to the actual way that it will come off without um, sticking to your build. Now I am trying to look for this one. This one here, the orange, is a 60 day removal. So it's a little bit longer. Now, would we keep that on for 60 days? Probably not. But this is where the proof is in the pudding. I took the free and I laid them out on a sheet on a sheet. And you can see the vinyl nice and smooth. It looks really good. Nothing's gonna get underneath that when it's pushed down. This paper, this the orange will is a very nice edge. Nothing's gonna get underneath that. When I look at the blue, I look clearly a lot will. You'll start to see when you paint, if you paint especially with a can, it's gonna start pulling up on this edge, and capillary action is going to bring it underneath these grooves. So um, remember, not all blue tape is created equal. Um, 14 day tape is fine. Uh, 60 days even better. You will pay more for this. I think I paid seven bucks for this roll. And again, this was this one was 17, but they're worth the extra money, especially when we're doing special paint. So quick hit for today. Um, everybody hope this helps you when you're selecting paint. Keep on learning. See ya.